earlier last year, I challenged myself to platinum every canon Resident Evil game in timeline order. Currently, I have platinumed Resident Evil 0, Resident Evil HD, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, and Resident Evil Code Veronica. After getting my cheeks clapped by Code Veronica for the better part of two months, I can gladly say, it's time for the GOAT. Resident Evil 4 kicks off with a virgin being sacrificed by a group of middle-aged men before introducing us to Leon S. Kennedy on his very first mission to reach Resident Evil Daddy status. Before you can say this word, <clears throat> Leon finds himself searching for the missing police officer in an abandoned shack. Oh, hit him with a little bit of that ASL. Obviously, the police officer is now shaking hands with Betty White and that old man that just got twist kicked into heaven. But coincidentally, that same old man had intel on the president's missing daughter, and just as we call the agency to let them know her new location, we get jumped by the cast of Duck Dynasty. Oh no, here's Johnny reference. Let myself out. I like it. How bad you want it, son? How bad you want it? Leon's rescue mission instantly goes awry when we stumble onto the village stake burning ceremony and are introduced to the most iconic Resident Evil enemy ever. Yes! Yes, the chainsaw dude! That's probably the greatest Resident Evil character ever freaking made right there. Oh, did that do that shit? Oh, did that kill him? Of course not. Of course not. Cats. That's a. Oh, he's killing his own homies. As we fight our way through the village, killing any zombie that we come across, somebody rings the church bell, and all the villagers instantly put on their church face and enter the bingo hall. Shortly after this, we kill a villager in his shack and find that he has somebody tied up in his basement. I hope to gosh that is Ashley, because if that's some dude going to come out here with a knife, I'm going to be pissed. That's Rodrigo or something like that. I love this dude. I love this dude. Oh shit, it's the big show. Say no to drugs, Leon. Say no to drugs. After being force injected a booster shot of the plague, Leon wakes up chained to our Spanish homie Luis Serra, who informs us that he knows where the villagers are hiding Ashley. He then proceeds to help us kill our captor, and killing him lets us escape from our prison cell and earn the first trophy in the game. You know what? I don't think I'm gonna be able to. I'm gonna rush him. Okay, if you have a knife, you can parry and attack with L1. Oh my gosh, they added a parry, a parry. Si oh, I did it! And I got a trophy! Oh, I'm the greatest! I am the greatest! Parry an, an enemy with a knife. 
That was so easy. Th that's what. Okay. Getting our first couple of confirmed knife kills impresses a traveling merchant so much that he offers us some free jewels just to complete a few off the books jobs for him. Once you've completed a task received from a blue request note, you can claim the reward by talking to the merchant. Good stuff. Nice one, stranger. Complete a request for the merchant. So he is the dude giving out the blue quests. Okay. As fun as completing black contracts for our new homie was, we have a presidential daughter to rescue and need to find an emblem that opens up the pathway to the church up on the hill. Before heading to bingo night at the church, we first stop off at the village chief's house and find a mysterious glass orb that leaves us alone in the bedroom with the big show. That is, that is awesome. I don't know how that puzzle works, but it is so cool. Oh, it's the big show. Did we really think that was going to work? What the hell? It's Ada! That's our baby girl! Getting our keister kicked by the Big Show for a second time made Leon realize that we should just avoid him at all costs, forget about saving Ashley, and just join the cast of American Pickers. Is this like the bobblehead characters in this game? It is! Revolt against the revolting, destroy a clockwork castellan. So it is. Those are like the, the, the Mr. Raccoons and stuff of this game. Got it. Despite the exhilarating feeling of finding a $300 propagandist tinker toy in a barn, Leon is much more interested in freedom and the weapons and methods that provide it. A well-tuned weapon can make up for a... Lack of skill, friend. Hey! Dazzled. My preferred piece! Upgrade a weapon! Okay, I'm flying through this trophy list. You wanna keep talking shit? How about I show you what the skull shaker does, dog? Amateur shooter? Complete a game at the shooting range? Once target practice is over, Leon stumbles upon a boat that he can use to cross the lake. The problem is, the boat is out of gasoline, and the gasoline is hidden in a waterside shack that is guarded by a small platoon of villagers. Dispatching a platoon of villagers was light work for Leon S. Kennedy, officer of the law, and after finding the gasoline and filling up the boat, it was time for a little spear fishing. Where's my spear? I like how the floating trees are literally just there as markers. See, I told you, it's a gigantic tadpole. Oh, there's my spears. Oh, yeah. This is so much easier. Because in the OG, you had, like, if you missed, you were screwed. I was probably supposed to spear it there, huh? Come on. Can you imagine how people back in, like, the Greco-Roman days felt? Like a spearman. He's just, like, standing behind a barricade. Yeeting spears into people like one after another just like yep got him. Yep got him. Just like counting them Woo! Shit that was close Gosh damn
I applaud you, Leon. I would have cut the rope and just paddled my way out of here, bro. But I guess that wouldn't make for a very fun boss fight now, would it? Ha ha! Harpoon Hurler! Defeat Del Lago! Hell yeah, baby! That was so much easier than the OG! So much easier! After killing the Del Lago, Leon goes island hopping in an effort to find some symbolic heads that will unlock the key to the church. In the process, he ends up killing another couple dozen zombies, finding a golden chicken egg, and spearing another fish for the merchant. It would appear all is normal, and after receiving the church key and venturing back to the church, we get attacked by a literal giant. Oh yeah, he's way uglier in this one. I know he is, isn't he? Oh yeah, this it, it. It should only be two hits. It should only be two sets of slices. This is standard difficulty. I was a hundred and ten percent wrong. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on. Did I get him? Is that it? As Braun Strowman lay dead at our feet and our puppers was taken a victory lap, we finally get a chance to enter the church. The church proves to be insightful as we solve a stained glass puzzle and finally get to meet Ashley for the first time. Ashley. Ashley Graham, are you in here? Just let me go. Listen. President's orders. That went well. <laughs> After the not so pleasant introductions were made, Leon decides that the best course of action is obviously to jump out of a window, and no later than that happens, we get attacked by a horde of villagers and find out just how useless Ashley still is. Son of a where where are you taking her? This isn't even on hard. Well, I got a trophy for it, so that's good enough for me. After yet another chase sequence where Ashley decides against dodging basic enemy attacks, we find ourselves in an old warehouse as the Big Show jumps Leon and then proceeds to pray for the ability to kill his enemies. Oh, Almighty, grant me the strength to crush your enemies. Son of a bitch. Ashley, run! Yeah, that ought to do it. Hasta luego. More por favor. That's like the only Spanish I know. That and cervezas. Yeah, I don't think you should be thanking the big man upstairs for looking like that. Yeah, you definitely should not be thanking the big man like for this. Right in the eye testicle right there. Oh! Holy shit, dude! Come on now, really? Oh yeah, come on! Let's dance, big boy! Okay, well... He ain't got no dancing shoes. Maybe he's got some dancing gloves. Shh. 
shoot. Yeah, see, there he goes. He's making a joke about the tap dancing. Classy. Oh. Oh, I don't like that at all. Oh, no. Oh, this is not going well. Uh, we need to craft a herb. And I'm going to save that herb just in case I find a yellow somewhere, but... Oh, yeah. Come get some, baby. Right up in that eye testicle. I'm going to be stabbing the crap out of that eye testicle all damn day. There we go, baby. Grilled big cheese. Defeat Betores Mendez. The big show ain't got nothing on me, damn it. Leon S. Kennedy, daddy of the law. As the big show goes down in a blaze of glory, Leon and Ashley finally escape the village and are welcomed into the castle by a horde of cult members and cannons. Naturally, the American in me saw a cannon and couldn't resist the urge to go all 1776 on a few religious zealots. Firing again. Yeah, sucker! You want some of this, big dog? Overkill. Use a cannon to defeat a zealot. All revolutionary jokes aside, the welcoming party for this estate proved to be an average schwacking and did little more than slow the group down as we headed into the castle. Inside the castle, we were introduced to none other than Ramon Salazar, the owner of this estate and the second in command of the Los Illuminados cult. Such a pleasure to finally make your acquaintance, Mr. Kennedy. Who the hell are you? Me? Oh, please, call me Ramon. Ramon? Allow me to get straight to the point. It's kind of creepy. I would like you to hand the herb over to me now. Yeah, fat chance, Ramon. The girl's just fine with me. Mr. Kennedy, Mr. Kennedy, how noble. Do make sure our guest feels at home now that he has chosen death. I like this guy. He's a lot creepier than the old game. The old game made him seem just like too childish. Oh, shit. Stay close. Inside the castle is a never ending maze of rooms puzzles, and close encounters of the blind kind that leaves everyone wondering if anyone actually lives here. Despite the confusion of finding our way through this castle, dodging zealots, knights, and other creepy crawlies, we managed to knock out multiple miscellaneous trophies. If I can kill all three of these with a flash grenade, maybe? I don't know if it'll kill them, but I will go for it. Holy shit, shoot your eyes! Defeat three enemies at once with a flash grenade! Actually. Oh, there it is! And that's the trophy, fam! Once I sell this... We will get a trophy for a hundred thousand pesetas for one thing. So let's just go ahead and get that trophy real quick. Astute appraiser sell a single treasure for at least a hundred thousand pesetas. All you have to do is find the elegant crown and fit it with three ruby, three square rubies, and three yellow diamonds, and it's it, that's all it takes. You seen it? Okay, get the body armor. I'm going to get I'm going to use the exclusive upgrade for the pistol because I use the pistol so much and this is also going to be good for a trophy or it should be. This the one a masterpiece. Get the exclusive upgrade 
for a weapon and i wanted to burn it on the pistol because i use the pistol more than anything else and it gets a five times Your critical hit rate so now we get more critical hits after watching Ashley get kidnapped again, Daddy Leon is forced to sprint through the castle chasing after her. And while we are busy outrunning the Verdugo and a plethora of Las Plagas infected villagers, we run into Luis again down in the mines. Luis intends to prove that he is not a bad guy by helping us rescue Ashley and also finding some dynamite to help us take down a shielded giant. However, Ultimately, Luis fails to check his six while walking and talking and gets knifed by Major Krauser. <laughs> Who Long the fuck are so you? Me. Major Krauser? What the hell? Why? Recovering stolen goods. And killing a few rats along the way. Easy work. Ashley, it was you. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Nines are faster. Okay, come on. Come on. You're not thinking straight. Okay, I'll I'll slice I'll slice you I'll slice the shit out of you. Okay. Soldier like you. Okay, okay. Get, oh, I should have been able to kick him off the edge. Oh, you want some? <laughs> Come get some, baby. Headbutt him, headbutt him. Okay, or not, or not. Nobody wins with a headbutt, that's true. Not sure why you would need to backflip there, but I'll take it. Dude, I wish it was this easy to parry in like any of the Souls games. I might actually, whoo, be good at it. There we go. While we did kick the shit out of Major Krauser in that tussle, we were ultimately saved by Luis, who used his dying breast to save us and smoke his final Siggy. As the Siggy keeps burning and we are forced to leave Luis behind, Leon moves to catch up with Major Krauser, save Ashley, and avenge Luis in one foul swoop, but is too little too late. As we arrive to save the day, Ashley gets carried off by Major Krauser, and Leon gets to face off against the true Salazarian prince. You have been bestowed with lore, sadly. You talk too much. Failed. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going, Leon! Keep freaking going! Allow me to show you that when I be granted by my master, the power of the God. Stage is set for the final act. Ooh, nasty! Okay, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Okay, I'm gonna try and throw a grenade in there first. You talk too much. You talk too much. Throw a grenade into Ramon Salazar's mouth. I got it. Okay, that's. I've got a renewed sense of confidence. That'll work. I like that one. Aha! No thanks, bro. No thanks, bro. Defeat Ramon Salazar. Hell no. After schwacking the prince and leaving his body for the Novastadors, Leon attempts to catch Major Krauser and rescue Ashley, but the fight with Ramon took too long and Leon has to watch from afar as Major Krauser speedboats away. 
But lucky for us, Leon's ex-wife comes along just in time to give us a little lift to the military island that Major Krauser calls home. You look like you've got something to say. I have something to ask you. But I don't think I'll get a straight answer. Nope. Raccoon City. You know, after the incident, the world changed. Try to save one person, a hundred others die. I guess I changed too. You, Leon S. Kennedy, officer of the law. You haven't changed. You just think you have. This island is home to Major Krauser's Ganado Army that was created from Ramon Salazar's personal military force. It includes soldiers wielding clubs, stun rods, and brutes which are basically the remakes version of JJ's. The soldiers are easy enough to murk, but once we reach the mandatory umbrella laboratory section, we are introduced to a new type of enemy that is almost impossible to kill. Let's see if I can't get the kill right here. There it is. Two bugs, one stone, baby. Kill two parasites inside a regenerator with a single bullet. I didn't know if that would work, but it did. After using the Byakugan scope to snag a trophy and dispatch the regenerators with ease, I figured it was time to brush up on our marksmanship skills before we hit the final boss arenas and in the process snagged an additional two trophies. 22, 23, 24. Oh shit! Trick shot! I don't know what that was for! Hold up! Shoot through and destroy five targets at the shooting range with a single shot! I didn't even know that was a trophy, but I'll freaking take it! Hell yeah, baby! There we go. Come on. That's got to be 18. That's got to be 18. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Real dead eye. Didn't even need to hit every single pirate to get it. All you have to do is hit that 19,000 threshold. Earn an S rank in all games at the shooting range. Real dead eye, baby. Bringing it home. Let's freaking go. Once Leon was ready to schwack some more dudes out of existence... We move back into the action and are lured into a final showdown with Major Krauser at his blood-soaked Coliseum. Hey, you know what? This is how the US military fights right here. The whole goal of combatives is literally to get back to your weapon and shoot them. You can do you can do cool guy shit all you want. From you, I take that as a compliment. Are we done here? Oh Krauser? shit. He took the beret off. Again. I do got the Magnum, though. No. He's not done. Last lesson starts right now. Your final lesson's about to start, too. Don't ever bring a freaking knife to a gunfight. Time for the teacher to be taught. Are you ready? There it is. You used to be a good guy. Defeat Jack Krauser. That's why you don't bring a knife to a gunfight, Jackie boy. And you definitely don't bring two knives to a rocket launcher fight. Let's go, baby. After myrtillating Major Krauser, all that we have left to do is save Ashley from prison and then destroy the Las Plagas cult by myrtillating the cult leader, Elliot Sadler, in the most explosive manner possible. Holy... It 
It's always a massive amount of eyeballs. Okay, well, uh, let's do that. Okay, come on now. I will hit you with the, the, the rocket launcher shortly, don't you? Don't you worry. Don't you worry about that. That rocket launcher's on the way. Shit. Oh, yeah. Stab it, stab it, stab it, stab it. I don't know how many times I got to stab you in the eye testicle, but I'm going to do it. Okay, and I'm going to... Oh, I didn't, I didn't bring the good sniper. I didn't bring the good sniper scope. Guess I didn't need it. Bye. It's you. I'm just going to keep shooting him. Okay, well, I thought that I was doing damage. I don't know that I am. Hell yeah, mama. See, I knew there was a reason I was in love with you, baby. <laughs> Your small time defeat Osmond Sadler. Let's go, baby. Oh, that's a cool way to do this results. Promising agent. Complete the main story on standard motor hire. After destroying the Las Plagas cult and beating the game for the first time, it was time for me to clean up the remaining trophies, and I started by using some strategic saves to knock out a few miscellaneous trophies. One was for completing the minecart section without taking any damage, and the other was for completing the jet ski section without taking any damage. If I remember right, there's nobody here. Yeah, there it is! Hope you like thrill rides. Make it through both minecart sections in the underground tunnel without taking any damage. So as long as you pay attention to where the autosave features are, if for some reason you take damage, just quit the game to the main menu and hit continue. And uh, it'll do it for you. So I can guarantee you that part. So hail to the yizzle, baby. Haha! -ha! Smooth escape. Escape on the water scooter without taking any damage. That one was so much easier than the minecart. So much easier than the minecart. After completing most of the miscellaneous trophies, it was time to begin the first of five additional playthroughs of the game, starting with the standard difficulty speedrun. The standard difficulty speedrun requires us to get an S plus rating from a fresh save. This means that we cannot use our upgraded weapons to complete the speedrun, and we must finish with a final time under 5 hours. However, I found a loophole that can be exploited to exponentially increase the ease of all the speedruns in the game. If you earn an S rank in the first 3 of 4 Mercenaries mode maps, you can unlock the Hand Cannon as a bonus weapon. The Hand Cannon is a Magnum with stupid high damage and is a bonus weapon, meaning that it is free to equip from the storage box at the start of any playthrough. Once it is fully upgraded or upgraded with an exclusive upgrade ticket, it will have infinite ammo and will kill basically all non-boss enemies in a single hit. So after using this exploit, I was able to knock out the first few speedrun trophies with ease. Probably gonna finish like 502. Five oh one fifty five. Gosh damn it. Oh, at least.
least I got a trophy. It wasn't a worthless run. Complete the main story within eight hours. I got one trophy. I can't believe I missed it by a minute 55. I mean, me being just a nervous Nelly right at the end and deciding to add that level 14 save just randomly instead of just doing it just in case came back and literally saved my ass. If I wouldn't have done that, this wouldn't be happening right now. Come on, baby, give it to me. 457 S plus, baby. Mission accomplished. S plus. Complete the main story on standard mode with an S plus ranking. Let's freaking go, baby. By the time that I started my third playthrough, I was getting excruciatingly proficient at the game. I had memorized the location of all the key items and my speed runs were only getting faster. Not to mention, for less money than a white chocolate mocha from Starbucks, you can upgrade the Magnum from the beginning of the hardcore speed run. This speed run also gives you an additional 30 minutes to the overall time to get the S plus rating. Not that that extra time will be needed, in fact the hardcore speedrun was easier than the standard speedrun and allowed me to complete some additional miscellaneous trophies on the way to the S plus ranking. clock tower without the lift stopping once that is the second miscellaneous trophy i've gotten on this hardcore playthrough there we go freedom oh yes oh it feels so good oh thank you thank you very much didn't even get close to the max amount of time I needed. 418. I know I'm the best, baby. Proficient agent. Complete the main story on hardcore motor hire. An S plus rank investigator. Complete the main story on hardcore mode with an S plus rank. Meaning the hardest trophy in the game is already done. Let's go, baby. Now that I had completed both speed runs of the game, I decided that I should complete the Leon Collectathon playthrough. The Leon Collectathon playthrough requires us to find all the treasures in the game, complete all of the merchant quests, destroy all of the clockwork castellans, and never use any healing items. By completing this playthrough using the hardcore save status we completed earlier, we will come out of the Leon Collectathon with six trophies and enough money to buy the infinite rocket launcher. This should be the trophy for every treasure in the first part of the game. Bandit! Obtain all treasures indicated on the village treasure map in a single playthrough. Hell yeah, baby. And then we get a little bonus right here for having the deluxe edition of the game. Yeah, this thing doesn't look put together the best. Aha! Raider! Obtain all treasures indicated on the castle treasure map in a single playthrough. So we're almost done. Almost. Gonna have to keep that in mind if I ever get stuck in a pack of those. Jack of all trades, complete all requests 
from the merchant. Hell yes. I didn't even realize that was the last one. Aha, burglar. Obtain all treasures indicated on the island treasure map in a single playthrough. So we have officially collected every single treasure in the entire game. Hell yes. There he is. He's right there. Revolution wind up. Destroy all clockwork castellans. The final collectible in the game is done, fam. Now we get to do the fun stuff. What do we get? Sub eight? That's an A? That is an A. Frugalist. Complete the main story without ever using a recovery item. I didn't use a herb. I didn't use a first aid spray. I don't know if you can use vipers and bass or not, but I didn't do those either. We did it. Let's go, baby. Upon completing the Leon Collectathon, I had decided to complete the Knives Pistols playthrough next. This playthrough requires that we restrict ourselves to a knife of our choice, the pistol of our choice, and refuse to talk to the merchant even a single time. I decided to use the Primal Knife, which can be purchased as a bonus weapon after you destroy all 16 Clockwork Castellans. Once the Primal Knife is fully upgraded, it will become unbreakable, and once it is paired with a fully upgraded Sentinel-9 and assisted difficulty, the playthrough becomes egregiously easy and leads to an additional three trophies. Come on, it's right there! It's right there! I know! I know what you're thinking. You're like, hey, don't see. There we go. Never heard it coming. Right there, baby. Defeat a Garador using only knives. Too easy. Too easy. This little pokey stab thingy right here is freaking girthy as all get out. That is the girthiest knife attack I've seen in a minute. Give it to me, baby. I'll take it minimalist complete the main story using only knives and handguns silent stranger complete the main story without talking to the merchant once and that means all we have left is the professional playthrough let's freaking go 69 saves <laughs> perfect before I started the final playthrough of the trophy run, I decided to do a B-roll playthrough so that I could get some specific shots that I wanted for the video. Obviously, when I was doing this, I was using infinite ammo and assisted difficulty to make the process quicker, and I discovered a game-breaking exploit for any difficult new game plus playthrough. On assisted difficulty, you can buy an infinite number of first aid sprays from the merchant. These first aid sprays are also storable in your storage box and can be used in any subsequent playthroughs on the same save file. So if you take one assisted playthrough, stockpile all of your cash from it, and then spend all of it at the merchant location before the final boss fight, you can have a storage box that contains 700 plus first aid sprays. After discovering this exploit, you can take a look at my inventory and understand why my professional playthrough was the fastest one of the trophy run and how I was able to get this platinum trophy so quickly. Oh shit, this is gonna be so close, so close. Never mind, never mind. I got about 10 seconds. I got about 10 seconds. Oh, hell yeah, baby. That's the plat. That's the plat. Yum, yum. Come get me some. That's the plat, baby. Let's go. 248. Yes. Peerless agent. Complete the main story on professional mode. Oh, I don't unlock the weapon automatically. I don't unlock the weapon automatically. That's what it is. I have to go unlock the weapon. Got it. So yeah, the Chicago sweeper. So I just have to go to bonuses, extra content shop. Now this 
is the platinum trophy. Surprise, motherfucker. So hopefully this is what it takes. Okay, there it is. Gun fanatic. Obtain all weapons. So all you had to do is put it in your inventory. And because boredom kills me, the platinum trophy for Resident Evil 4 rem uh, remake. Oh my gosh. That is dope. Another one bites the dust. That is officially six of 12 platinum trophies. If you enjoyed this video and would like to watch another one like it, click one of the videos above. If you would like to watch these videos live, ring the notification bell so that you're notified every time we go live.